Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to test the PlayStation 1 emulator. Now, I'm using LaunchBox within Windows 10 32-bit. I'm using PSX Rearmed. So before we get started here, the Latte Panda is a small single board Windows 10 computer. It has 2 gigabytes of RAM. They do offer a 4 gigabyte model. It has an Atom X8300 CPU. It's a quad core clocked in at 1.6 gigahertz. Intel HD graphics. 32 gigabytes of onboard storage. They also offer a 64 gigabyte model. But uh, overall, this little board has done a really good job at everything I've thrown at it. And I'm very surprised that the little Atom processor has this much juice in it. It's a very low powered board. Doesn't pull more than two amps and uh, it performs pretty well. So I don't want to make this video too long. So I'm only going to test a few games here. First game I'm going to test is... If I can find it, I thought I had Crash Bandicoot 3. There it is. Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. And I can launch everything directly from within LaunchBox here. I'm using my mouse now, but within the menu, I was using my Xbox 360 controller. I'm trying to get a Bluetooth driver to work with my wireless PS3 controller. I'll see if I can do that in a little while. All right, yeah, it's running pretty smooth here. I should have turned on my frames per second monitor, but I forgot to. Sorry about that. I gotta say, it's running at full speed though. I've played this game on a bunch of different emulators and it runs very smooth on here. So I have messed with the EPSXE emulator on my Windows desktop. Pretty much everything I throw at it runs at full speed, but it's a lot more beefier than this Latte Panda, so. If you guys know of a core that I could download or um, which core works best with low-end PCs, let me know in the comments below. I've also been, you know, searching online, but there's just so many websites for this. If you guys know of a really good one that I could check out, leave a comment below because it would really help me out. Now, I know that we're not going to be able to run all of the games at full speed the way I have it set up now. The only thing I changed was the resolution. I turned it to 720p and I left everything else the way it sits within PSX Rearmed. I believe that's what it's called. But either way, let me know in the comments below. We're gonna go ahead and try another game. This one seems to run really well. I'm gonna switch out now. If I press exit on my keyboard, it should bring me back to the launch box front end. So now I wanna try Spyro Year of the Dragon. So I just went ahead and skipped the intro and everything for you guys. See how this game runs. It seems to be doing pretty well. Now without changing any of the settings, I was really expecting this not to run as well as it is right now. Oh, my first baby dragon, yo. I'm really, really digging this little Latte Panda board. Um, like I said in the previous video, I'm not done with the Raspberry Pi by any means. I'm just waiting on the newer release of Recall Box and Retro Pi. Hopefully it's coming up soon as Retro Pi 4.0 and Recall Box. I don't even know if they're going to 5.0 or not. But the Raspberry Pi is amazing for emulation. The development behind it is fueled by love for the games. I mean, that's really what it is. Nobody's trying to make any money off of the development of making a retro pie or recall box or anything like that, except for the people downloading it, putting it on SD cards and selling it on eBay, which is crap. I mean, that is just ridiculous. So yeah, I mean, there, the optimization is there within that little ARM CPU because people love it and people are working on it constantly and they're not getting paid to do it. It's a labor of love, and that's why it works so well. Yeah, this seems to be running pretty decent. I'm just going to run through here a little bit, and then uh, we'll switch to Tekken 3. I, I think we'll do Tekken 3 next. Tekken 3 does uh, put a strain on the PlayStation emulator, so we'll try that. And I'm definitely going to be making more videos of the PlayStation emulator running on the Latte Panda. As soon as I get everything set up correctly... I really would like to get my Bluetooth wireless PS3 controller working with the Latte Panda. It does have Bluetooth built in, but 
I just got to work on that. Get on out of here. Get me one more dragon, baby, and then uh, we'll switch out. There we go. Come on. Get on out of there. Hey there, Vanessa. What's up, little baby dragon? All right. Let's switch on to Tekken 3. Press escape on your keyboard, and it should exit you right back into the launch box emulator. Now, it does work with this PlayStation emulator. I had trouble with another emulator not exiting correctly, but uh, this seems to work pretty well by pressing exit. So hopefully we'll get decent performance out of Tekken 3 with the settings I have. On Android, it does lag if I don't download the OpenGL driver and turn on dual core rendering. I guess we'll see what happens. We'll just go with arcade mode and I gotta choose Eddie here. All right, I can already tell you this is running very, very slow. I just, I had a bad feeling that it was going to do this. I really need to do some research and some messing around within the emulator settings themselves. And as you guys know, if you mess with emulators, sometimes it can take hours to get it correct. But I'm pretty sure that this little board has the power to run this game at full speed. If not all of the PlayStation games at full speed with the right settings and the right emulator. Within LaunchBox, the only option I had was PSX Rearmed, I believe it's called. I love using ePSXE, so I'm probably going to do another video. I'll set that up, get some games running, test some Final Fantasy. I'll test this again. If you have any requests, let me know in the comments below. And I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe because I got a lot more coming. I will be doing some N64 and some more modern game testing on the Latte Panda very shortly. And as soon as RetroPie 4.0 is released or Recall Box, I want to say they're going with 5.0. I don't know. I will be pumping out some Raspberry Pi videos. Like always, thanks for watching.